GrusselMedia.com. KPWR Los Angeles, Power 106, where hip hop lives. Big boys Big neighborhood. Boy. It's going down, ladies and gentlemen. Now, we got to bring someone into the neighborhood right yeah, now. The MVP. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> really the MVP, ladies and the gentlemen. MVP. Best believe that. Kobe Bryant. What's up, brother? What up, boy? Yeah. Kobe. Man, how you doing this morning, brother? I'm doing good, man. I'm doing good. Congratulations on the yes, little one, on family. Yes, on your baby yeah. Thank you. Thank and, you. And, that must and, have been an exciting night. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. It's uh, you know, many blessings. Yeah, hell yeah, man. I don't. You, and you know what's wild about that, dude? It's like you already know that it could be, damn. You know, Vanessa at any moment. But you, you know, you you got to go out and right. there's a job that you to have to pull off. And you pulled it off, man. And and we get a little one. Go ahead. Hello. Yeah. <laughs> you know, Kobe, do you put pressure on yourself? Like you set the bar for yourself sometimes where you're like, damn, I got to go in this arena right now and outperform myself. Well, you know what? What I try to do is I, I try to make sure that we're ready as a team. Right. You know what I mean? Like back in the day, I, I was, you know, I had a role that I had to play. So I really focused on myself and, you know, making sure I, I, I did what I had to do to help us win. With this team, it's a little different. You know, I try to make sure that everybody else is ready. You know, Kwame's feeling good. Smush is feeling good. You know, Luke's ready to go. And, you know, just emotionally, we're there as a team. Hey, man, when you're out there on the court and you're out there with Nash, do you ever just look at him like, come on, man, you yeah, know. Yeah, man. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm saying, Kobe? Yeah, yeah. Hey, do, do he ever just whisper in your ear like, hey, Kobe, I know. <laughs> like, like you got to look at him like, come on. Like, especially this last yeah. game, player. Everybody oh. had, even, even, and no disrespect, even Nash, brother or sister, mom had no, to call him like, truth. baby, you know you're not the MVP. Right, right, man. <laughs> you should yell, you should yell to him, 81. Yeah. Yeah. 81, run past him, Kobe, 81. I appreciate the love, man, for sure, man. But you know, he's, he's a, he's a great player, man. He's a bad boy. He's not the greatest He's player. not you, though. Yeah, he's not. Man. Not Kobe. Hey, man, up. But you know what? That, that's just like on the real, Kobe. If I won some kind of award. And I know I didn't deserve it. I'll take it to the crib. Don't get it twisted. <laughs> yeah. I'm going to take it home, Kobe. But I'm going to tell Fuzz, like, Fuzz, you know we didn't deserve it. Exactly. Oh, two, yeah. two years in a row? Come yeah, on, man. You don't man. Even get that, uh, man. You know what, man? I'm, I'm just more excited of how well we're playing. Though. Yeah. Like, the MVP talk and all that, man. It's exciting to be a part of the talk or whatever. But you, know, you look at how well we're doing as a team, and that's, I mean, that, that really says a lot, man. I think that's the thing that's... Um, you know, that we're most proud of. And speaking about the team, man, I just just feel Jackson coming back and, and watching you guys work together after so much skepticism and stuff at the beginning of the season, man, just to watch you guys, you know, the, the whole team and, and you guys' relationship and everything build so well yeah. toward this this pinnacle now in the playoffs, man. I mean, would you have even predicted that things would have got to this point this quickly? No, nah, you know what? I, I didn't know what to expect, actually. I, I think, you know, from the start of camp, you know, what we decided to do was just come in, just take it a day at a time. And, um, you know, we just hit it off right off the bat. And, uh, I mean, we have a, just an incredible relationship. Hey, man, That's and great, you know man. what's wild about Phil Jackson is, like, when we're at the crib or we're at the Staples Center and we're nervous, he sits yes. there like it's just no thing, dude. Like, I looked over yeah. at him one point, Kobe, and he was in his, he was, like, levitating. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm saying? He, he had, like, a joint in his mouth right. and he was, <laughs> ah! That's what him, man. And, him and Be Real was sitting there and no. Be was like, how you feeling? How you feeling, Buddha blasting? It was, dude, dude, it's like he no really, emotion. it must feel great, Kobe, for everybody to kind of look into your eyes and be like, okay, Kobe's been here. But then you could also look at Phil Jackson and be like, you know yeah, what? Man. He ain't tripping we don't need to be tripping right. so everybody right. don't trip you but just see you know that's where i learned the game from is from him and uh you know how to be calm in those situations and uh i mean he's just a hell of a coach man this guy yes. you know, he, he prepares us so well and he's prepared for every situation and uh you know he trains us as such so when you prepare for every situation it's not something that you really need to get you know overexcited or concerned about because you're ready mm -hmm. and just from laker fans in general thank you for making it so exciting for us yeah man i mean you really do you 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 put on a show as well as you perform as a as a worker you know you go to work every day but you make it very exciting for us watching at home yeah thank man you, thank, well we appreciate the support you know we and how much you guys have embraced us this year it's like you know we're we've become one you know what I mean? We're on this journey together to try to get back up to the top, and uh, it feels good to do it with people that love and support you. Hey, Kobe, man, we definitely thank you for this yeah, phone man. call, brother. Definitely, and I'm man. Telling you, telling you, man, not only is it is it great for just you know Los Angeles, great, just just great that everybody's you know got a place to go to, and and everybody we got something to talk about. And I'm gonna tell you, even just being selfish, it's good for my radio show. I ain't gonna lie. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? You know what I'm, saying? Up. I'm telling you, man, I got people I got to take care of too, man. So. When you guys do good, we can come and be like, Los Angeles Lakers. You know what I'm saying? Best believe that. We, and we thank you. Anything and, and, and thank 
like you also personally, we told the story on the air, man, about how generous you were in yes. my personal thing for leukemia and lymphoma and my run, dude. And just, you're such a great guy to do that for me and just to check in, man. What are you running tomorrow? I mean, I'll see him after games and it's just so nice that, that you're thinking about the good deed that I'm trying to do. And I just want to thank you personally on the air while I have the opportunity. That, that man. Workout gear. Good, man. Thank you. Appreciate that, man. Yeah. Los Angeles Lakers. Los Angeles Clippers. That's real spit. You say Lakers in how many, Kobe? Lakers in how many? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Well, you guys can go ahead and continue that talk. I, I got to go to uh, practice. And make you do your damn thing. <laughs> yeah, hey, man. And on, on a personal level, once again, man, congratulations to you and your queen, yes. my brother. Yes. Thank you so much, man. Thank All right, brother. You have yourself a good one. We love you, Kobe. Right, Thank you, brother. Kobe. My brother. It goes down. Power 106. Big boy. Big boy. Right. Russellmedia.com.